Hey guys, it's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye and welcome to episode number 11 in my How to Make Up for Beginners, a Back to Basics series. In this episode, we are going to be talking about how to apply lip liner and lipstick. <music> On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Kikai family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In last week's video, I showed you how to apply highlighter. Now that we've covered that, this now brings us to the one final crowning step in absolutely finishing off any makeup look. And that is the application of lip liner and lipstick. Before getting into this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Guy. Now, the playlist for this entire series will also be listed in the description box down below, so you can jump between each video in this 12-week series for each specific makeup step in a full face of makeup application. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to apply lip liner and lipstick. Now, I believe that lipstick application can either make or break a look because it's the last step in completing any makeup application, whether it's a full-blown glam makeup look or even if it's the most natural makeup day of your life. I absolutely love lipstick and to me it is the one makeup product that I would take with me to a deserted island if I had to choose one. But before we go in with any lipstick, we first need to apply lip liner. Now it's important to apply lip liner because it is the foundation of your lipstick. Done correctly, it can increase the wear of your lipstick, prevent the color of your lipstick bleeding out in the fine lines around your lips, and provide more definition for your lips to either enhance or hide lip features. Now if you have crooked lips like I do, this side of my lip is much narrower than this side of my lip is. For me, applying lip liner can help correct that. So that's another reason why lip liner is really important, especially, especially if you are planning on wearing a brighter colored lipstick. Now first of all, even before applying your lip liner, you're going to want to have exfoliated lips. Use either a lip scrub or a lip balm before you apply any of your lip liner or lipstick and having exfoliated lips will ensure a smooth application of your lip colors and help them last longer on your lips. Secondly, moisturize your lips. Put on a little bit of a lip balm, something that will sink into your lips. If your lips are dry, cracked, or chapped, then it'll be difficult to apply a smooth line to them. Next is to apply your lip liner. Now, lip liners have many different colors and effects based on what look you're intending to create with it. If you're planning on wearing a red lipstick, use a red lip liner. If you want a more natural look, go for a nude or soft pink lip liner. If you want a more natural but ombre look, which will, if you want a more natural or maybe ombre contour type of lip look, then go with a lip liner that is one or two shades darker than your natural lip tone. And if you're wanting a more bold ombre look, then choose a lip liner that is several shades darker than the color of lipstick that you are planning on applying. You can also match your lip liner color to the color of the lipstick that you are planning on applying to further intensify the color, make it more opaque. For this look today, I'm wanting more of an ombre natural look, so I'm going to go in with this darker lip liner and over the top of that, I'm going to go in with a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip that is several shades lighter than the actual lip liner. When I've applied it, you'll know what I mean by the ombre look and how using a darker lip liner will give my lips the more contoured and more puckered up look that everybody likes to have. So here's a tip. Before you use your lip liner, warm it up on the back of your hand. This will ensure that it'll apply on your lips a lot more smoothly and prevent it from catching on your lips which will create a jagged edge. So, number one, part your lips slightly. This will help you stick to the natural shape as you line them. Number two, trace your natural lip line. I like to start on my cupid's bow, outline the corners, and then the bottom of my lips. This will help achieve an even shape. Also another tip, to get a fuller lip without overlining, which will give you clown mouth, trace from the outer corners of your lips in instead of from the center out. This will help create a fuller, more rounder shape of the lips. And from here, we 
will go in with lipstick and this is very self-explanatory. Just color within the lines because you've already done all the foundational work with your lip liner. As you can see here, I'm using this lighter shade of lipstick in this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade She Cute. And using this, I'm just going to pat this in the center of my lips and then sort of buff it out with that ever so effective action of lip smacking. <laughs> As you can see here, I used a lighter shade of lipstick against the darker lip liner and that, that has given me a really nice contoured ombre type of lip. Still bold, but quite natural. Now lining up the lips is one of those things that is very personal. You will know how to hold your lips, you know exactly the shape of your lips. So just know that when you're applying lip liner and lipstick, it'll get easier for you through time to know the natural shape of your lips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Any further questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. If you guys are enjoying this series, then please give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you have any other questions. And subscribe if you haven't already. You can also hit that notification bell so you're notified of the videos that I put out every single week. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. They're all life as e guy. This is one of the last final steps in our How to Make Up for Beginners Back to Basics series. Next week's video is going to be episode 12, all about setting sprays and what beginners need to know about them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! On this channel, in last week's video, I told you, in last week's video, I showed you whether it's a, whether it's a full Once we've done that, this brings, I believe that lipstick applica- I believe that the lipstick application have a bit of a lip balm going on. Have a little bit of a lip balm. So choose your lip liner based on the, based, trace from the outer corner of the lip with that lip smacking with that ever so, with that ever, with that ever so. If you did find it, I hope you get. So that's it. <clears throat> so that's it for this video. I hope you got. I'm so tired. I've been filming for like eight hours. So I hope you guys.